Today is January 12th, 2019, and this is episode 12 of Plane Savers. Hey everybody, welcome to Saturday morning. It is 7.57 in the morning here at the Buffalo Airways Hangar. I am currently in Plane Savers headquarters. Um, it's been amazing. Uh, this we had a really good week I shot a video for you every single day it was so much fun uh, it being Saturday I wanted to come in early give you guys a, just a channel recap today uh, and see where we have been since it's it's only been two weeks ten episodes two weeks and uh, I want to show you guys how much you guys have built the channel uh, every person that subscribed liked commented on the video shared the video you know talked about the videos at coffee time uh it is thank you i can't stress how thankful i am so i wanted to dedicate this video to you you know what i love stats and i want to show you guys the stats uh very simple very easy to digest how much have we have grown in 14 days and what are we going to do in the next 14 days is up to you but let's get to the numbers Okay, folks, Plane Savers two-week recap. Going back past the last uh, 10 episodes, we have gained 15,000 subscribers. And those are, you know, that's you guys. Like, I've only started with 800 uh, subscribers, and that was, like, all the way from 2006 to now. So that's almost 1,000 a day. Can't thank you guys enough. Two million watch minutes. That's crazy. Imagine if that was a DC-3. It would definitely need some new engines. We've had 370,000 views in the last two weeks. Just awesome. Awesome. YouTube revenue, zero dollars. YouTube, I'm not a YouTube partner, so I can't get revenue. Uh, but that doesn't matter. I'm providing you guys uh, some, free, uh, some free entertainment. Hope you like it. And getting to spend my week with you priceless well that's a quick recap of the week uh let's go find joe uh, ask him some questions and uh give you guys a little bit of insight to what it is like on a saturday i reached out to you guys on my instagram story uh and i had, i just asked a simple question ask buffalo joe a question for today's episode of plane savers and uh this is uh what you guys got back to me with Okay, Dad, it's uh, Saturday in the hangar here. Um, first of all, what, um, what's it kind of like on, uh, on the weekends here at Buffalo? Well, the weekends are, can be uh, very busy. We don't get caught up during the week, and the weather is bad during the week, then we fly the weekends. If uh, we're caught up, we try and give as many people the weekend off as we can to reset them so they're ready to go again Monday morning. Okay, uh, so I went on Instagram, and I, I got to uh, ask people for some questions. No Saturday, not much going on today, so perfect uh, time to ask. So our first one here is from at Nilo High, High Camp. Uh, what's the hardest thing about operating that far north? There's nothing really hard because we're very adaptable to the conditions of the north. The same would be if we went to Africa, we'd have to be adaptable to the sandstorms. So I don't really, really see anything other than, uh, you know, uh, new people coming in aren't aren't adaptable to the weather their first year not probably our hardest part trying to get people to get climatized to the weather that we'll be operating in so people okay at Connor underscore Nickerson uh, any planes you haven't flown that you would like to no I think I've been lucky enough to hit them all that I want to f fly there's a lot out there it'd be neat to fly but uh, you know coming up through the the air, airplanes that I've always flown, I've, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with what I've flown. Yeah. That's good. Okay, at uh, ET. I'd like to fly an AN2 on those Atenoffs. Oh, there we go. Big biplane. Yeah, that'd be neat. Yeah. Okay, at uh, EPT1C, what's your favorite feature about the DC-3? Well, the favorite, I guess, the DC-3 is the the airplane that uh, takes you into uh, a realm of flight. Uh, you, you can feel everything about it. it it's, it's an airplane that, uh, that's, that's very prone to being flown by feel. It'll tell you everything that it wants. It'll tell you where it wants to climb, where it wants to descend. 
uh, where it wants to cruise, when and when and where it wants to take off and land. Uh, the airplane is, is very uh, very sensitive to, to pilot input, you know. I mean, the, the, the airplane is much better than any pilot can fly it. Okay, here's the last one, at William Jones 321. First aircraft you've ever flown? The first one was a, well, uh, you know, the guys used to put me in the seat of their airplanes. I remember being in the seat of a 180 and, and being in the seat of a Norseman, uh, Blanca, Fairchild. But when I started my flying lessons, the first airplane I physically flew myself solo was a BFP-812, a Piper Cub. Cool. Okay, and then uh, just for everyone at home, what are the two airplanes behind us right now? Well, the one behind you here is a Baron, a Beach Baron was one of our ex-bird dogs. Now it's just a, sort of a private transport airplane moving crews around. And the one above it is an N3N, which is a Navy training airplane. Second World War trainer, and that's uh, the one in the far corner. Of course, is NATO too, you know. So there's quite a realm of airplanes here. And then what's in the other corner here? Well, we got a C-46 in for maintenance, and in front of it is a newer style King Air. And then what about up in the in the corner up there, the red one? Oh, that's a 1946 Fleet Canuck. The Fleet Canuck was owned by a trapper down in Fort Chippewan, just south of here, village south of here, and uh, he used it for his trapping. He used it as a trap line airplane on skis. And in the summer, he had it on floats, and that was his, uh, I guess a lot of people skidoo their trap line now before they used to uh, dog team their trap line. Uh, he would, uh, he had a long trap line. He, he trapped into the barren land with that airplane. He was a barren land trapper. So that was his, uh, his airplane. So. When he, when he left the world, I wanted to keep it here in the north and it got in my way around the hangar here, so I lifted it up onto the roof there for one season and stayed up there. And it'll probably stay there for, for forever. And then uh, for everybody at home, who's your co-pilot here today? This is Patches. Patches, get up here, Patches. This is Patchy. He's, uh, he's our new, well, not new, he's been here for four years. He's, uh, just the, the good old Pat. Hey, Patch. All right. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for answering the questions. And uh, yeah, Saturday. So uh, I think we're going to call it quits. That was uh, just a short video for you guys. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'm going to work on something a little bit different for Sunday's video. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Okay. One more thing before we go. Oh. oh. Oh man, guess what it is. It wouldn't be a Plane Savers episode if it wasn't for a uh, Dash 7. Those uh, Dash 7s sure love uh, making their cameo. <laughs>